this is Captain Chaudhary. Today I am going to talk about tank calculations. I normally tell the students there are two types of gauges. One is the modern and other one is conventional. Modern gauges include radar, beam gauge, vessel gauge and ultrasonic gauge. Under the conventional gauges you have UTI gauge, you have sounding tape and you have sonic tape. The difference between the two is the modern gauges that I talked about their measurement is perpendicular to the tank, perpendicular to the tank top or the dome. And the conventional gauges, they run or their measurement is perpendicular to the liquid. So they are along true vertical. Modern gauges, they are perpendicular to the deck. So it is more easy to do the computation if you have modern gauges. Today, we will talk about the calculations which are done with the help of modern gauges say for example radar beam gauge now i will do a question whereby there is a center line tank and there is this uh, a list that is read in the after part and will cause the list as well as a trim so that the level of oil in the tank is tilted uh, sideways also and say for and aft wise also so let's look at a ship whose length is um, say 190 meters and trim is say for example 4 meters. Now this particular ship, uh, if we uh, look at the ship in the plan view, somewhere in the center line you have this tank that we are talking about. On the center line this tank is there whose length is say uh, 28 meters the breadth is 22 meters and the height or the depth is 16 meters and we are talking about an alleged port which is located on the starboard side this way so position of alleged port is uh, 4 meters to the starboard of center line and it is say for example this is forward this is aft it is three meters forward of aft bulkhead and the alish port is 1.2 meters above the tank top so this is the position of alish uh, so i have caused list to the ship I've got trim to the ship and there is this center line tank whose alleys is being read. The ship is listed by 1.5 degrees to port. 1.5 degrees to port and alleys that is read is 2.1 meters. Observed alleys is 2.1 meters. Let's do the calculation. Let us look at the tank in a four and a half view my suggestion is we always draw the tank sides uh, parallel to the page lines okay we tilt the liquid so suppose this is port side and this is starboard side list is 1.5 degrees to port that means there is more liquid on the port side simple but we don't tilt the tank we tilt the liquid there is more liquid on the port side. This is the center line of the ship. And 4 meters to the starboard side, we have the alleged port. And this alleged port is 1.2 meters above the tank top where we read the alleged. From here, the measurement is done perpendicular to the deck. The measurement is done perpendicular to the deck. We ideally want what is the alleged at the center line. We want what is the alleged at center line. So if you look at this line, this is the alleged that is at center line and this is the alleged that is observed. As we see in a four and a half direction, the correction is over here. This is the correction to be applied. And you can see that to find out the alleged in the center line, we need to subtract this correction. This is a four tan 1.5 degrees or in a standard way we can write this as x tan list x tan list 
where x is 4 meters. x is the distance that the alleged port is from the center line. Now the observed alleged that is uh, uo observed alleged plus x tan list. In fact, plus minus x tan list. Uh, you may also remember as far as the alleged is concerned, if the position of the alleged port and the list, they are same name, you plus and if they are different name, you put minus. But I suggest you find it out from the diagram as is uh, my usual instructions that you should uh, make correct diagram and from that diagram you should find whether it is plus or minus. You can see that to get to the correct alleged, we have to subtract the correction. So it is 2.1 minus 4 into tan of 1.5 degrees. Now let us see how much it is tan 1.5 degrees equal to into 4 equal to minus it from 2.1 so it is 1.995 1.995 1 meters now this now this alleged is corrected for the list we will now correct it for the trim I will write down the standard formula over here that is u0 plus minus x tan list and that is 2.1 minus 4 tan 1.5 degrees giving me 1.995 meters right now let us draw another diagram where we look at the tank in the side elevation from port to starboard or starboard to port right now here's the tank once again as I said uh, we will draw the tank uh, deck or tank top parallel to the lines of the pages uh, let us say that side is forward this side is off you can see that the ship is trimmed by stern by 4 meters that means there is more liquid aft and less liquid in the forward direction I have exaggerated the slope the distance that the alleged port is from aft bulkhead in a standard way we can say that distance is y okay that distance is y now length of the tank we call as l this is the length of the tank and this is the mid tank and mid tank distance is l by 2 so what is the distance from the alleged port to the mid tank that is L by 2 minus Y. Okay. Now this is the alleged that is red, and this is the alleged at mid tank that we want. You can see that the alleged that we want is more than the alleged that is red. So because there is stern trim, and we are seeing uh, in the side elevation, you can see in the diagram that the correction, which is this, is positive. This is the trim correction. This term correction is positive. How much is that? I would like to tell the students you should not remember the formulae. You should enjoy the formulae. You should enjoy the drawing. From the drawing you should be able to find out what is the correction. Now if you look at this shape, geometrical shape, it is a right angle triangle and can we know the relationship between the perpendicular sides that is this and this can we know the relationship between the perpendicular sides well let me tell you whenever you look at the triangle like this and this is a particular angle like in this case this is the trim angle this trim angle is also represented by trim and lbp relationship this particular right angle triangle is a similar triangle to triangle right angle triangle that is made by trim and LBP. That means this side upon this side that is smaller side upon longer side is equal to trim upon LBP. So that is how if I know the value of this side I can find out the value of this side. So this is the relationship between the perpendicular sides as we see from the side not only in this tank in any tank. So you should enjoy that relationship. Right? instead of trying to remember a formula so uh, the rule is from the bigger side if you want to find out smaller side multiply it by trim divide by LBP and from the smaller side if you want to find out 
what is the longer side you multiply by lbp and divide by trim so this particular distance from here to here is l by 2 minus y so what i do is i multiply it by trim and divide by lbp i will get the correction so length of the tank here is 28 meters so 14 minus y that is 3 meters that becomes 11 meters here so 11 multiplied by trim that is 4 meters divided by lbp that is 190 is the correction to be applied so 44 divided by 190 gives me 0 0.232 0 0.232 is the correction to be applied right so 1.995 plus 0 0.2 3, 2 is the allege. The true allege is 2.227 meters. Now, what is the total height of the tank from the position at which the allege is read? So, that would be the height of tank, depth of the tank, 16 meters plus height of the allege port. So, 1.2 plus 16, that makes 17.2. So, please remember it for the future. Any right angle triangle that you see from the side, it has got the two perpendicular sides. One is small, other one is big. So from the big side, if you want the smaller side, you multiply by trim, divide by LVP. And from the smaller one, if you want the bigger side, that is, you should multiply by LVP and divide by trim. So here in this case, the distance from the alish port to the mid tank is 11 into 4 divided by 290 that is 0 0.232 so when I add that the corrected allege becomes 2.227 meters subtracted from total height that is the depth of the tank and the height of allege port that is 17.2 I get the true sounding 14.973 and 14.973 multiplied by length of the tank into breadth of the tank get, gets me the volume of the oil that is 9223.37 meter cube Till here we have found the volume of the oil at present temperature. Let's say the present temperature is uh, 27 degrees centigrade and the density of oil at 15 degrees centigrade as measured in vacuum is say for example 0 0.80. The density to be uh, uh, specified in a standard way, they usually say that this is the density in vacuum and measured at 15 degrees centigrade. But we have taken the allege at present temperature that is 27 degrees centigrade and at 27 degrees centigrade the volume is going to be different. The volume is going to be more than what is the volume at 15 degrees centigrade. So we must find out what is the volume of oil at 15 degrees centigrade. That means if the temperature had come down to 15 degree centigrade and the entire oil was allowed to cool down to 15 degree centigrade, what would be the volume of oil? So that volume can be found by multiplying this volume by what is called volume correction factor. Volume correction factor is a factor by which if you multiply this volume, you will get an equivalent volume at 15 degree centigrade. And that can be found out from table number 54 of ASTM table. So let us look at that VCF or volume correction factor. How much is it? We are talking about 27 degrees centigrade. So that is 0 0.9891. VCF is 0 0.9891. Now, once we multiply the volume with this VCF, we'll get the volume at 15 degrees centigrade. But then after that, if we multiply that with the density, that is the density in the vacuum, we will get the weight in vacuum. Vacuum weight is different than the weight in atmosphere. Your weight in the air is different than your weight in the swimming pool. So what I do is, how much is the weight of air? How much is the weight of air in one cubic meter? Just for your information, the air weighs 1.1 kilo in one meter cube that means if you have uh, say about 3.3 feet by 3.3 feet by 3.3 feet such a big box right such a small box then the mass of air there is 1.1 kilogram that means uh, the mass of the air 
in one cubic meter is 0 0.0011 tons. 0 0.0011 tons. Okay, that is 1.1 kg. Now the density in the vacuum is 0 0.8 and from there I want to subtract the weight of air in 1 cubic meter. So it would be 0 0.8 minus 0 0.0011 giving me the density as 0 0.7989. So that becomes WCF weight correction factor 0 0.7989. Let us see how much you get. So the volume is 9223.37. Volume correction factor is 0 0.9891. And the density is 0 0.7989. 0 0.7989. That gives me 7288.23. 7288.83 tons. So this is how you do the corrections, right? If you've got the alleged using the modern gauges, say so I have used the radar beam gauge where the measurement is perpendicular to the deck and we have applied the corrections that is VCF and WCF. I've told you what is the reason for that. And finally, we got the quantity as 7288.83 tons. Thank you.